Hey there guys, this is MathCamp321 presenting a short lesson on simplifying rational expressions. Remember the word rational means fractional, so we're going to see a lot of fractions, so get excited. In number one, they're asking us to simplify 2x times x minus 5 over x minus 5 times the quantity x squared minus 1. Well, here we have a fraction that's algebraic. And like any other fraction that you may have learned about in fourth grade, you want to make sure that your final answer when you're simplifying is completely reduced. You want to see if there's any factors that are common to the top and the bottom that can be canceled out. As I scan number one, I notice that there is an x minus 5 binomial present in both the numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel those out. And when I do that, I'm left with 2x over x squared minus 1. So as I look at this result, I notice that the denominator, x squared minus 1, can be factored even further using the dots technique, difference of two squares. So I'm going to write this as 2x over x plus 1, x minus 1. Now that I've factored completely, I can really assess if there are any additional factors common to the top and the bottom. And I notice that there aren't any additional factors. Everything is distinct, one of a kind. So nothing more is going to cancel, so I know that I'm done. I've simplified this all the way. Now, in question number two, it says, for what value or values of x is this rational expression undefined? So what this question is really asking is, for which values of x will the denominator be zero? Denominator equaling zero means undefined. So I'm going to start by factoring both the numerator and the denominator completely. Now the numerator is going to factor as x plus 4, x minus 3. The denominator is going to factor as x plus 4, x plus 3. Now when there's a question about a rational expression being undefined, we have to consider the answer to this question based on the original problem. Now what I've just written in blue is the original problem, just written in factored form. So I'm going to ask myself, are there any values of x for which the denominator will be zero? And if I look at this, if I focus on this first factor, x minus 4, and I just think about it, can you think of a value for x that's going to make this denominator zero? Well, imagine if you took that x plus 4 and you physically set it equal to zero, you're going to get x equals negative 4. And if you looked at the second factor, x plus 3, and you set that equal to 0, you're going to get x equals negative 3. So I think that if we were to allow x to be either negative 3 or negative 4, you're going to end up with 0 in the denominator. And something divided by zero, of course, is undefined. So I think these are the two answers. Now what happens in a question like this is students get so excited at the prospect of canceling out that they go ahead and they cancel out the x plus fours. And when you do that, you're left with a new fraction, x minus three over x plus three. And this fraction here, that is the simplified fraction. But what you need to understand is for this, for this particular question where they ask about where the rational expression is undefined, it is based on the original question, not on the simplified result. That's a very, very important comment, so please make sure you include that in your notes. Let's go to the last example of this slide. They want us to simplify z squared w minus z squared all over z cubed minus z cubed w. So my first effort will be to factor both the numerator and the denominator in the hopes that there will be factors that are common to both which will allow me to simplify. So I'm looking at the numerator and I'm going to factor this by removing the greatest common factor z squared. If I remove or factor out a z squared, I'm left with w minus one. Now as I focus in the denominator, I can take out a z cubed. And if I take out a z cubed, I'm left with one minus w. Now, something really cool happens here, but before I discuss that specific aspect of the problem, I just wanna go off to the side, and I'm gonna switch colors here to brown. 
I just want you to consider this. Uh, 10 minus 3 over 3 minus 10. This little problem that I've just invented, uh, the two expressions are complete opposites of each other. We have a 10 and a negative 3 on the top, but a positive 3 and a negative 10 on the bottom. Watch what happens when you simplify. 10 minus 3 is 7. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. And you end up getting negative 1. Now, let me try it one more time with another set of numbers. I'm going to pick 11 minus 6 and 6 minus 11. Again, these two expressions are complete opposites of each other. Now, 11 minus 6 is 5, and 6 minus 11 is negative 5. And again, this simplifies down to negative 1. This is a really important trick that we're going to see a lot in this chapter. And it just so happens that this idea presents itself in question number 3. We have w minus 1 and 1 minus w. w minus 1 and 1 minus w are two binomials which are exact opposites of each other. And like we saw with the brown examples, these will be able to cancel out, but you're left with negative 1. And I hope I've illustrated that with the brown uh, two, two different times. So at this moment in time, I'm left with negative z squared over z cubed. And the two z's on the top are going to cancel with two z's from the bottom. And I'm left with just negative 1 over z. So on this slide, we talk about simplifying an algebraic fraction. And to do that, you want to factor the numerator and the denominator in the hopes that there are factors common to both that can cancel out. And this other little trick I showed you is that if you have two expressions, one on top, one on bottom, that are complete opposites of each other, then those can be canceled out so long as you put a negative 1 in for those, uh, those two expressions. And the last thing, which actually happened for number 2, if there is ever a question about where is a rational expression undefined, you always base this on the original problem before you start canceling things out.